Kalos is back. You heard me right. Kalos is back. So yesterday we had a Pokemon Presents where we got a whole bunch of news on all sorts of things all related in the Pokemon. But the big one being the announcement of the next big Pokemon game being Pokemon ZA or ZA or Z or Pokemon Legends Z, I guess. Um, we didn't get too much, but I did want to talk about it, um, because it is what turned into my favorite region from the franchise, being, of course, Kalos, as you saw at the beginning. But anyhow, getting into actually Pokemon Legends Za, uh, I am so excited for this. Um, just look at the trailer, I'm not quite sure where to put in the direction in this game. Obviously, there's another entry in the Legends series, which... We all love Legends. Legends Arceus back in 2021 was amazing. I love that game to bits and pieces. I've been kind of wanting to replay it. Um, but I fell in love with that game. It was such a breath of fresh air for the franchise. And my personal favorite Pokemon game. So obviously it seems like it's going to be themed around Zygarde. The um, Z legendary Pokemon. You got Exornius and Yvelta from X and Y. And for this one we're going to be focusing on Zygarde. Um, I have seen some speculation on the letter A in the title. Maybe they will connect this to Legends Arceus in a way, or maybe a new legendary mythical Pokemon that will start with an A. My personal theory going into this is Z the A. Z is the end of the alphabet. A is the start of the alphabet. What if they're going to kind of do some time travel in this game, and not just, oh, this takes place in the future. What if we're going back and forth between the past and the future? We see a lot of sketches and stuff of Lumino City, but then we see these 3D futuristic Tron-like blueprints that we see for a good part of the trailer. Um, but it goes back and forth between them one or two times. And the whole Z-A, because in the logo, it is like a dash in between Z and A. Kind of has my theory mind going and thinking, hmm, maybe this won't just be in the future or the past. We'll be going back and forth. Which I think would be cool if they want to kind of play with a butterfly effect thing. You know, you go and you make up these ideas for buildings in the past and you get flung into the future and you see these massive buildings now built because of the actions you did in the past. Another thing I'm really excited about is the fact that it seems like Pokemon's finally pushing the brakes on the franchise. If not just a little bit. So Pokemon Legends Za won't be coming out until 2025. Now, this is kind of like Legends Arceus that might be during the January winter time frame. So, it might not be holiday 2025. But still, it's not coming out this year, which at least shows some signs of Pokemon maybe slowing down a little bit. And I'm glad that we're finally getting a bit more of a push until the next game. Because I know some people talked about that we might get the new generation this year or next year. And it doesn't seem like that's going to happen anymore. I don't think we're going to get a new generation this year. Um, definitely not this year, and I'm hoping maybe not 2025. I think Gen 10 might not come until 2026, which would be awesome. I would love to see that from Pokemon Company, them just, let's take our time, let's breathe, get a Legends game out, maybe throw out a spinoff, maybe give us a Mystery Dungeon game, maybe give us Pokepock 3. I would love that. <laughs> As much as I would love to keep rambling on about this game, I don't have too many new thoughts to talk about at the moment. Though this trailer was really cool to watch and see all the visuals, especially the Tron-esque um, like Pokemon, we really don't have much to go off of. I'm sure throughout the year we'll get more info, we'll see more videos and footage of the actual gameplay, hopefully. But for now, I'm okay with sitting back, let's relax, um, and you know, the game will be here when it bees here. And I think everyone in the fan base is super stoked that we're just getting another Legends game. Maybe except for the Gen 5 fans. Sorry, Gen 5 fans, you, you're not getting your remake. At least not yet. Anyhow, though, thank y'all so very much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. As always, please take care of yourself, drink some water, and I will see you all in the next one.